Hello, good evening. Uh, Magino Mandirigma. I like to recommend a book that I've been reading for a day, probably. I'm really uh, reading it uh, quite a bit. It's um, Arnis, the Story of the Filipino People by Rio Zablan. It's a book recommendation that I want to share with you guys. If ever you want to avail also, you can contact me at Magino Mandirigma at Facebook. And um, here's just the story. Um, this book was um, was um, one of the cool documents that um, you will uh, encounter in the history of Arnis. When it comes to uh, the culture and history, when it comes to um, the origins of our practices from Europe, and it it was integrated by integrated by the transfer of the Spaniards. Since we became a colony, um, we were invaded. Uh, we were invaded, but we were given skills also to uh, the defend. Since we became Christians here in the Philippines, uh, Catholic Christians, we established a lot of fort that depended the country. Because at that time, many fort was developed to um, to to defend the other tribes because due to um, a lot of in um, practices during the span during before the Spanish time there's a lot of tra uh, sl slave trades going on so usually they done that for um, for trade and for um, for marriage actually before so you can learn a lot of this book in the Arnie's story of the Filipino people because it's part of our history. This is the well detailed book. Uh, it, it, it has a lot of what you call this the, the location of the different forts, uh, a lot of footnotes of uh, the origins of our techniques from the Spaniards to us, and it basically mixed with our culture and arts. So um, it became more of a mixed kind of martial art. So most of the techniques from our niece is uh, Spanish. So, uh, but a lot of the empty hands were from the Orientals here. So it's the uh, which you call it, I think um, by my own observation for 15 years of practice of our niece is, I think it's a lot of the Chinese influence. Uh, so it it, it, it it derives from there because there's a lot of circular motions when it comes to that and a lot of the. Um, uh, Muslim brothers that practices uh, silat also it, it, they say it is its uh, origins from China. They, that's why they call it kuntao. But when it comes to iskrima, it's mostly um, um, from the West, and um, it, it it has a lot of significant value when it comes to Filipino because it's the it is highly documented and even in the Spanish time they documented a lot of its origins and uh, local papers that's why uh, I'm promoting this book you can buy it uh, uh, in the Magino Mandarigma it's by Rio Zablan it's a good it's a cool author and this is the first book that uh, I encountered such well detailed um, well detailed explanation of the origins of our niece and it's one of the best explanation I got because all of the footnotes are here from our local and international authors when it comes to the pre-colonial era, colonial era of the Philippines. So it's 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 a good way to read. It's a short book, it's just this thick. But it holds a lot of um, values that the and um, culture that you can understand from the Filipino people, especially our different cultures. All right. So um, feel free to visit here. I'm just gonna post it here on the page, Magino Mandarigma, so that you can have a context not just to learn the fighting art, but to understand the culture and our history. See you soon guys. Thank you guys for watching. Maestro Jaime Paterno de Lazar.